The virtual Boston Marathon is underway, and some of this year's participants ended their 26.2 mile run crossing the famous finish line on Boylston Street. But in fact, people are running all over the world. When the BAA created the virtual event because of the pandemic, runners who took on the challenge began to design their own course, and they have to run it between September 5th and September 14th. One of those runners is Maura Sendi, running her virtual marathon next week as a member of. Team 261 Fearless that works to empower women through running. It's like I've done 20 mile training runs. Running 26.2 solo or even with a small group without the, the crowds is a different experience. Um, I, you know, it's, it's going to be very, it's going to be different. Some of Cindy's teammates on 261 Fearless ran today as part of the Move the World fundraising series in conjunction with the virtual Boston, New York City, Chicago, and Marine Corps marathons. The BAA has named Ahmad Arbery posthumously to the honorary Boston Marathon team. Arbery was killed jogging through a Georgia neighborhood in February. The BAA says the deaths of Arbery, George Floyd, and Breonna Taylor are all reminders of existing racial injustice. The BAA says all 26 members of the honorary team, quote, exemplify the true spirit of the Boston Marathon. WBC is proud to partner with the BAA to bring you Boston Marathon Live. We'll have more of the nearly 18,000 runners and wheelchair athletes taking part in this year's virtual race. Join us all this week on CBSN Boston. Our coverage begins tonight at 8 o'clock.